I'm Amy Anderson and you're watching Option Rally TV. Take your position with Option Rally Brokers. Click the link to my right and get more information on binary options with Option Rally. Now here's what's happening today, August 9th, 2013 in the market. Canadian housing sinks weary greenback. A less than gold metal dream for Microsoft. And lastly, follow the yellow metal road. Your profits are starting now. Canadian official data boosted the loony on Thursday as it showed that their new house price index rose by 0.2% in June, under shooting expectations for a 0.3% increase. The U.S. couldn't keep pace as impatient investors await a finalized decision on the bond buying program. For Canada, more housing being bought is more money flowing and helps the northern currency to bump. For the U.S., it is understood that the dollar will spike once the bond buying program begins to stop. It's just a matter of when. American to Canadian dollar opened Thursday at 1.0424 and has tumbled to 1.0328 continuing this morning. For cross-border trading today, it is recommended considering a call option when the price hits 1.0358 and to consider a put option when the price hits 1.0295. The smartphone world can clearly be seen as Android versus an Apple battle. But who is playing for the bronze medal? It's Microsoft and BlackBerry. Microsoft 12 months ago was in fourth place behind its fruitful competitor and has managed a complete turnaround taking third place. Investors are interestingly thrilled uh, with this as the Gates legacy is striving for third place. This is positive news since the failure in the tablet sales hit last month. Okay, Microsoft will look to eventually be the leader of the pack, and it looks like they are on their way. For the numbers, Microsoft opened August 5th at 31.89, then spiked up a dollar a share to 32.89 ending yesterday. For Microsoft trading today, it is recommended to consider a call option when the price hits 33.12, and to consider a put option when the price hits 32.68. Gold prices rose in U.S. trading yesterday as several Federal Reserve officials destroyed the dollar by having said in recent days that they could not rule out making a decision to taper stimulus measures at the bank's September meeting, though lackluster economic indicators out of the U.S. have some market participants betting that such a decision will come in December. As noted yesterday and all through this uptrend for gold, it will continue to spike as long as the U.S. doesn't boost confidence. Expect major additional movements in the near future, especially if the U.S. can't close out the bond buying program. Gold opened Thursday at 1286.40 before spiking to 1312, continuing this morning. For alloy trading today, it is recommended to consider a call option when the price hits 1319.30 and to consider a put option when the price hits 1303.60. Today in the market, the Canadians look to keep on rolling as they release their employment statistics. Employment change measures the change in the number of people employed. Job creation is an important indicator of consumer spending. The outlook is good for Canada as the expectation is 10,000, which is much higher than the last report. Anything higher than 10,000 should have a positive effect for the Canadian dollar. Tune in today at 1.30 p.m. GMT and get ready to trade the loony. I'm Amy Anderson for your daily news and tips. Follow me at optionrally.com and on my channel. See you next week.